I'm from a town called LC Buktug. Um, it's a Mi'kmaq tribe, and uh, it's a reservation up in Big Cove, New Brunswick. Uh, so my first time going to visit in 19 years was this past summer. So I'm very thankful to finally uh, get get back to my family and get to meet a couple people that I haven't gotten to truly meet. And uh, I don't know, just uh, feel like get to meet my family, get to discover about 50% of myself. It definitely opened up a door to for me to keep going back and kind of build further relations with uh, my family members up there. I, I know a couple of them are trying to come down this year to see me play, so that for me is kind of just a great experience, just able to be with family and get to learn more about my roots. Yeah, I think that uh, I would definitely like to go back up to my reserve a couple more times and try and be uh, uh, as effective as I can with learning more about my heritage and that aspect, but also see what I could do for my community with uh, graduating college, see if there's uh, any holes that I could fill that, that they need help with up there. I knew that uh, growing up that, I mean, it was a pride thing. Uh, my father was the first full-blooded Native American to be drafted in the NHL, so I, I really uh, took that to heart with being Native American. I really didn't grow up in the culture, with the cultural background that I that I wanted to, but coming to UMass Boston, I was able to explore uh, more about my native roots with a couple of classes, and then being a president of SEPA, which is the Student Alliance for Indigenous Peoples of the Americas. So our main goal is just to build a, a, a community on campus for Native Americans or people that ally with Native Americans, and kind of just teach a cultural background. We've we've done movies in the past. We've done powwows, and then uh, we've also done nice little meet and greets to get some pizza. You know, just take, put your feet up for a second, relax, and get to meet other Native Americans or people that support the Native American community on campus. A powwow is uh, like a ceremony that includes dancers, drummers, and an MC, which is it's pretty much a celebration. My sophomore year, when I wasn't even a part of the club, they did a powwow, and uh, I've never been to a powwow, and being half Native American, I've always kind of, you know, shied away from my, my roots, but uh, I was able to go to the powwow and then kind of just get a feel, and I felt real comfortable, and uh, I was just able to, you know, take that hunger to learn more about myself and kind of just work my way into a position to, you know, fulfill other people, the other Native American needs in such an aspect of being able to learn more about their heritage and, you know, also realize that there are more Native Americans on campus.